This is a demonstration of the Gravograph M20 engraving on a curved piece of material. This is a wristband, which is curved as you can see. And we're going to place that in the machine to its vise. Lock that in. And we're going to be diamond drag engraving. We're going to use a software called Quick Click. And we're going to come back to our file creation. We're going to create a new file. The check mark. Do you want to ex replace the existing design? Yes. And we have a blank screen. I'm going to use a program in the machine built in to set the width and also set the engraving area. So we're going to click this little button here and it's going to come to our engraving screen. What this will give us is a laser beam which will tell us where to engrave. And right now you can see on the machine. There's a little dot. I don't know if you could see it or not, but there's a little dot. We're going to come to our left hand side. Upper left, we're going to tell the machine. There's the first dot for the engraving area. And our directions say press the check mark. Machine has that location. And then once we have that, it's going to tell us to go to the opposite side of the wristband. And our little laser beam will just move right over. And we'll bring it back this way. And check mark. That's how we set our engraving area. And look, we have our boundaries. From here, I'm going to set my height of my text. And we're going to say it is, uh, let's three quarters of an inch. So we're going to go big. We're going to go with a half inch text, 0. 0.5. And we'll hit enter. Oh, actually, it's going to be a little too big, so we'll go 0.4. The machine will tell you when the engraving area is too large. It will tell you insufficient spacing. That was the error we saw. So the machine will not let you engrave outside the boundaries. Once we have it here, we're going to type in A G W B A R K A. And there's Chewbacca, and it auto condenses for us. What we're going to tell it now, you can see it looks a little squished because these are our outside boundaries. If we click on the outside of this box here, we get a whole bunch of settings here that we can change. And it's giving our borders, and it's telling us to say almost a quarter of an inch away on each side. So we're going to change that to 0.1. And we'll change that to 0.1. And we spread it out some more. Now it looks better, much better engraving. We're going to triple click on what we've typed, and we're going to change the font. And we're going to change it to a let's see what we're gonna pick today uh, we'll bring it down and we'll just pick a very simple monochrome two-line font so now we've changed our font from this point we're going to go to engraving page and we're going to have to use our user settings for this because we have such a a curve on they want to make sure that the head comes up high enough so it doesn't hit the next letter and in here this is a simple dialog box the first two are for your speed your second is a dwell time which is only used for rotary engraving and this is your depth of what it's going to be pushing down on the spring tension and I like using a 0 0.05 which is 50,000 which gives enough spring tension to push down on the part now, for this part here, it looks like we got to stay at least a quarter of an inch off the top of this part so we don't bang the bang it when it's going to go over the hill. And I'm going to change that to point, that will be safe, point three. And we'll OK it. So it's going to come 300 thousandths off the top of the part so it will engrave without hitting our arc. Our user settings on. We're going to shut off the engrave with the regulating node because that's only used for rotary engraving. We're going to be diamond drag engraving. And this here, that's to set the origin. That's the center floating. And we use that when we use the laser to tell it where the engraving area is. So we're not going to touch that. We're going to auto Z reference so it knows where it is. And then we're going to send the job to the machine. We're going to zero on the lowest part of the wristband. Not in the highest, but the lowest. So from this it says push your green button to go. It's going to go down. It's going to set our height. And it's going to engrave.
and our engraving is complete. And that's on a curved wristband. That's a good look. There's your arc that was on. So that's a pretty substantial arc. And that's how nice it comes out when it's completed. And that is the demonstration of the Gravograph M20 engraving on a curved surface. And that could be done in any type of material from stainless steel, plastics, the anodized aluminum. And once you're done with this program, because you spent so much time setting it up, you can go back to your file folder here and you can save the active file. And you can see the names there. And everything that you just did is saved. All your heights, all your speeds, the text, everything. So we'll just label this wristband. And we save it off. And that's it. And we're all set for the next time. So all you have to do is load your part in, type in your text, and it goes. You don't have to re-zero it. You don't have to do pretty much anything but auto-Z it to the lowest part. And it's done. That is the M23 axis engraving machine.